Hey guys, how are you? So, just a quick little video. I have been putting out a lot less videos in the last couple of weeks, I suppose, because I've just been very busy with the Studio Web uh, SAS. This is school, school time now, so I'm onboarding schools, and that takes up a bit of my time, as you would imagine. But the good news is once this settles down over the next couple of weeks, then I'll be back on the video making train again. And I got a lot of new content planned out. Should be pretty cool. So let me just go over a few things that came up recently. Uh, I've been checking out some reports about job data with regards to coding and programming and different specializations. And let me just come away with this, a summary. Whatever type of coding you decide to get into, you're going to see good opportunity, if not great opportunity, in terms of job prospects and salaries. Now, with the COVID situation, we're actually seeing an acceleration towards online uh, education, online work, online businesses, which means a lot of work for any technology-related field. As you've heard me say many, many times, when it comes to programming, the widest open opportunity, of course, is in the web space, whether you do full stack or front end or just back end or even web mobile. As you know, I'm a big believer in responsive websites and PWAs and cross-platform solutions for mobile development over native. I'm not saying native is dead, but I'm just saying that's the direction it's going to be cross-platform solutions. That being said, even if you wanted to go native with your development, that is say Swift for iOS, Kotlin, Java for Android, you'll still be in a very good position. Just so many opportunities available to you. Uh, there is no bad choice in that regard. I know a lot of people out there when they're learning this stuff, they're worried that they're going to learn the wrong technology. There's no wrong technology because once you learn one programming language, you basically learn them all. And once you know your fundamentals, uh, you're off to the races with regards to coding. Let me dispel a big myth about software development. So the big myth I keep hearing over and over again is that you have to learn this tech or you have to learn that tech. And some people think that they have to bone up on all kinds of different technologies before they can even apply for a job. This is not the way it works. It's not the way it works, number one. Number two, if you do this, you're going to find yourself in tutorial in tutorial hell, and you're going to find yourself running around in circles trying to keep up with what people are telling you you need to learn now. You have to understand, every three months, it seems, somebody's coming out with some new tech that you must learn now. When people get it, oh my God, oh my God, I got to learn this. Oh my God, I got to learn that. Oh my God, I got to learn this. I've been doing this for, for decades now. I'm 169 years old, and I can tell you from all those years of experience, decades of experience, it's very rare that a technology that's established goes out of favor. Very rare, once every once in a while, and even then. So let's say we'll go back way back to 2010 and 11 when Steve Jobs effectively killed uh, Flash and Flash ActionScript and ActionScript-based application development for a whole bunch of reasons. But uh, even if you knew ActionScript and you're heavily invested in that platform, to go from be, being an advanced ActionScript programmer to becoming an advanced JavaScript programmer or an advanced Python programmer or an advanced Java programmer, <laughs> that easy. If somebody tells you on the interwebs that you must learn this tech, this is it, they have an agenda or they're very young, they're inexperienced. So the key to becoming a master developer who's in high demand, can land jobs, become a freelancer, or maybe set up a SaaS, the key is as follows. Number one, learn your foundations. My foundations course teaches the foundations, but you don't have to necessarily take my course. Although I think you should take my course. Number two, you have to get some experience and reputation. So even if your goal is to get a job working for somebody, I still say you should set up a website. Once you've done your foundation, step one, step two, we'll set up a website, make sure it looks good. 
then reach out and do one to two, one to two, maybe three small, free, stagiaire type of projects. You need to show prospective employers or prospective clients that you can actually take a project, work with somebody, extract requirements, lay out the projects, execute on it, and get it done. One of the illusions of software development, and I was just hinting at that about two seconds ago, is that you know everything getting into it. Nobody knows everything, it's impossible. You can spend 100 years studying 10 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, and you'll never learn close to everything. It's impossible. So you learn your foundations, you put up your website, you do a few, two to three free B projects as a stagiaire type of thing. Just develop some skills and reputation. And what you are actually being hired as when you are a developer is somebody who solves problems, who uh, will learn technologies when they need to be learned. I call that learn on a need to nerd basis. And that's it. You have to let go of that uh, fear that you need to know everything. You don't, it's not even close. I literally have forgotten much more than I currently remember. I spent years and years and years writing Java code and I would have, uh, I couldn't remember the basic uh, structure of the Java language today. I couldn't, I would, it would take me five, 10 minutes, uh, half an hour to get reacquainted, but it's been s such a long time that I, I, just, I just don't remember. It doesn't matter because what defines me as a great developer is not whether or not I remember a certain library or if I know Docker or if I know uh, how to use uh, DigitalOcean properly. No. What defines me as a great programmer is that I understand my fundamentals really well. I understand best coding practices. I write clean, simple code. I'm easy to deal with, easy to communicate with, and I'm open to learning new things when I need to learn the new things for the project at hand. Whether you're freelancing, whether you're going to work for somebody, or whether you're starting your own business. All right. People will know this channel, know this is my consistent message, but I figure I throw it out there. So once my busy season passes, I'm recording this in late August, uh, you're gonna start seeing a lot of new content coming out. That's it for now, bye-bye.